Hi, welcome to this short training video on how to create and use a service item in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I want to show you how to create a service item which you can then use to create a customer invoice. I'll show you how to select the item type, how to name your service item. We'll go over assigning subsidiaries to the new item. I'll give you a brief overview of the purchasing and pricing tabs. We will assign the income GL account to the new item, which will drive the, where the revenue gets recorded. I'll give you an overview of the related transactions tab. And finally, I will show you how to use an item when creating a customer invoice. To create an item, I'll go to Financial, List, Items. You can, if you click on items, you can see the list of items already existing. And from there, you can select create new. I will select new from here. And this will take me to the list of type of items that I can choose from. This will be a service item, which is down here. And I'm going to select for sale. And this will take me to the service for sale input screen. My item name will be test item 2. It's not a sub item of another item. I won't use a UPC code or display name, so I'll leave those blank. And the subsidiary, I'm, select, I'm selecting the parent company, but I will say that I want this item to make, um, to be available to the children so that any entity under this parent can use the same item for billing. I will leave the unit type blank, but you can select uh, from any types that are available to your firm. Sales units are leave blank, as well as the item image. I'm using the form that was the system defaulted to, but if you have all the forms for your firm, you can select the one that you want to use. If any of these items are required, I will select location, department, or classes, but since they're not required, I will leave them blank. And now I'm down here to the purchasing tab, and I will leave this as default cost category, but you have other options. You can say this is going to be um, labor or packaging and other options that you may have um, in your account. Under pricing, you can add a description for the sales, and you can add some information about the pricing and the cost of the item. I will leave this blank just because when we're creating the invoice, we are able to select the cost for the particular service that we're billing for. But if you wanted to use some of these fields, you could. Under accounting, you have to select an income account because when you are creating a customer invoice, you will be required to select the item, and the item is what maps to your GL account in the income statement. So, and this is determined by, by what you select here. So because this is a service item and I have a service account, I want to use my service account, which is 4004. So anytime I select this item for a customer invoice, the revenue will go to this GL account. If you want this item to be associated with your revenue recognition um, settings, you can select the revenue recognition template that you want to link the item to, as well as the deferred revenue account that you want the deferred revenues to be booked to. If there was withholding for this service, you select the withholding tax code here. And if for tax schedule, which is a mandatory field, I'm going to label this item as non-taxable. So there is no sales tax to be added to services linked to this item. I don't need to do much with these tabs, but they're available and you should get familiar with them in case you want to use them when you set up your items. Once there are transactions associated with this item, you'll be able to find them here. And now my item is ready to be saved 
and let's see if everything looks good according to the system. And yes, our item is now available for to be used for billing. And I want to show you how we can use this item to create a customer invoice. If we go to customers and go to sales, create invoices. I'll create a quick invoice for a customer and we'll use the item that we just created. So I'm going to select ABM as my customer. Location is required, so I will select Boston. The dates are pre-filled, some terms are pre-filled, so I will leave those alone. I will leave anything that I don't need to fill in a blank for today since I'm only trying to show you how to use an item that we just created for billing purposes. So if you scroll down here, you can see where you enter the item. And this is what's going to trigger the revenue type that you're billing the customer for. And let's select the one that we just created, which is test item two. If we had preset some billing information or some cost or pricing information, some of this information down here would be pre-filled. But since I didn't make any of those selections when I created the item, I have to enter this at this point. So I'm going to use test for description. I'm going to say that we sold 10 units. And I'm going to say, I'm going to leave this unit here blank. And I'm going to say that the price per unit is $100. And the invoice would be $1,000. It's non-taxable because we selected uh, the item not to be taxable. And I believe this is all I need in order to save this invoice with this new item that we just created. If I wanted to email this invoice to the client, it would be, you can select save and email, but I will just save the invoice at this point. And my invoice is now created with the item that we created a few minutes ago. If you want to see the invoice now linked to this item, if you click on this item, which you can also find via a search, you can go to this Related Transactions tab, which the one that I showed you before when I was creating the item. And now this tab should have the invoice that's associated with this item. If you're in the item and you want to trace back to the invoice, you can just click on the invoice here and see the details. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.